can try at home before you have your 4th of July party, either at your home or if you're head to, headed to a friend's house. All right, so we showed you a couple recipes earlier this morning. We've got uh, Kevin is going to share his. We've got Chloe Carlson, and we've got Tyler Camille is going to share hers as well. But we're going to start with Kevin. What do we have? All right. I love jalapeno poppers. Ooh, yeah. But really, I love anything with bacon, really, yeah. Right. Yeah. as you guys know. Yeah. Or cheese. Or yeah. Jalapeno. So really simple. Yeah. There's two different ways you can do jalapeno poppers. I do them two different ways. Either I slice the jalapenos. Make sure you get the seeds out unless you really yeah. want a spicy jalapeno. Or you can just core them. I have a core at home. So you just take the core down the middle, and then you put the cream cheese and all the filling in the middle. Oh, nice. These are actually split jalapenos. So I've split the jalapenos, and then what you can do is you can take uh, cream cheese, put it in a bowl, and take some cheddar cheese, mix it all together, and then you can use that. I just want straight cream cheese on these, and then just wrap them in bacon. Wow. Simple as that. Anybody can do this. If Kevin can do it, you can do it. <laughs> so then you just put them on the grill, Nice. and we're going to let them sit there for a while. And until they get nice and done, you don't want any raw bacon on there. Uh, I like my bacon, uh, as I usually say at restaurants, people don't. Kevin, you want your bacon limp, right? Yeah, I don't like it crispy. You don't like it crispy? I don't like bacon oh, see, crispy. I like oh, I do. Oh, you like crispy oh, bacon? Yeah. You like crispy bacon? Chewy. Bacon, you, bacon but, cannot be raw, but, that's what I say. Yeah. So but speaking Chloe, of bacon. Yeah, yes. speaking of bacon, so, you did it perfect. Yes, and actually I'm going to use different tongs. If I can okay. use these real quick, because those touch raw bacon. Um, see, she's health, ooh, look so at that. The health department would be very proud of you right now. So I'm also a big bacon fan and actually 4th of July reminds me this is my neighbor's recipe so I totally hijacked it thank you Greg um, so every 4th of July he makes barbecued bacon and it sounds very simple and actually it is but it's because on 4th of July we don't really want to spend time in the kitchen right, right? right. it's like hot and you know totally. rather stand by the pool and be able to barbecue talk with your friends and stuff so this is uh, grilled bacon and actually it's more about the technique versus what you put in it. Um, Show us your technique. So the technique, I'm gonna so go after you you've burned your, you've lit your charcoals on fire, you've let them kind of burn down and kind of get gray, you're going to cook them not directly over the charcoals, you're going to want to cook them. So right now you can't really tell but the charcoals right now are all on this side um, and I have my bacon going over here. Um, what I did is you let the bacon kind of marinate in a liquid marinade of your choice. Don't use a dry. I've tried what to do you just. Use? I use Pappy's. Pappy's mm. liquid. Yeah. yeah, the Pappy's liquid marinade. And I, I insist. It it's so good. It's almost kind of candied. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And then you just basically cook it 10 minutes on each side. We That's serve good. it in tortillas. Okay, I love um, that idea. It's super simple, especially for like the mornings. People are going to parades. You don't really have time to like yeah, sit in the kitchen. Really good. Yeah, super simple. This so, is this is like a, a treat. Yeah. I mean, this is a really oh, good it's treat. It's not my recipe, so I can't give you credit. But you're but showing did, us a good recipe. I 100% did this all on my own. <laughs> she didn't We're so proud. Yeah. I only, yeah, yeah, I so only proud. needed to be rescued twice. So, um, <laughs> that's my recipe. Tabitha, if you want Perfect. to take it over. Um, my recipe is really simple, too, because like she said, you don't really want to be in the kitchen. So, so you just slice pineapple, throw it on the grill, get it a little, you know, get some char lines on there, drizzle it with honey, and put some rock salt on it, and you're good Ooh. to go. Oh, so you get the sweet and salty sweet at the same time. Sweet and salty at the same oh. time. So have at it. If and you I actually like. feel like, so what if we put that inside a twist? Oh, oh inside yeah. I feel like that's great. great. See, we're creating like new great. recipes yep. right on the spot. So, but we have one more recipe we have to share with you on Sunrise. It's called the Sunrise Hot Dog. Let's bring it, Mr. Mills. My dad oh, has... Yeah. And that's still coming up at the end of the newscast. He's going to show us okay. the sunrise hot dog. Oh, oh, oh okay, yeah. okay. We're yeah. so, so, that, that, that is what we'll be making. This is what we'll show you how to make. We'll be right back.